Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another single-player episode. Uh, this time around, we're going to uh, kind of continue on the winter map here. We finally got uh, out to this other block. In the last episode we had on here, we dug this trail out, making this kind of a kind of a little landing sort of deal that we're working on here. Um, moving forward, I think I'm just going to start cutting. Um, I had to fly this stuff out just because... Um, um, when I updated the mods yet again, it reset the stuff, so it's alright. I just flew it out here real quick to save us some time on the videos. So now looking at each side of our area here, our block kind of starts over by uh, those trees right over there. And it ends kind of right where my buncher is right here. So I'm thinking um, what I'll do is start kind of on this side, cut our way up, and then kind of come back and cut our way up and just kind of keep going back and forth. Um, there's also a new loader. Well, it's not it's not like super new, but it's a uh, a new to us anyway uh, This is the laden basically it was the um, the button top that used to be kind of a salmon red color um, So I've updated a new version of the laden That's basically blue and white and it has the same grapple as the saber too So it's, it's basically just a, another version of the same loader We've been using there, but I figured it'd be something new and fun to throw in here just to change things up a little bit oh and my tracks are not on so let's turn those on there we go so yeah it's becoming finally becoming daylight in the game a little bit so that's nice now uh, we also have these new um buncher heads i don't know if you've been watching the single player stuff or the multiplayer stuff but the uh the new head cuts quite nice i haven't tested on these big trees so we're gonna see how this goes well those are very big trees i didn't realize how big those actually were Whoops. <laughs> right after I explain how good it is, I just go and use it like a tool here. It's great if you know what you're looking at, that's for sure. Whoops. Uh, I was doing way better with this thing in uh, multiplayer. There we go. Boom. So, yeah, the idea is just going to be to kind of clear out as much of this block as possible, I guess. And uh, we'll kind of see where we end up. So the key is to not go in too, too hard. There we go. That's better. He's got to be gentle with it. That's the key. Be gentle. So yeah, it's uh, been interesting working on these bunchers, finally getting a proper cut note on them. So now they actually cut really well. They don't cut on an angle anymore, which is really nice. Uh, as you can see, when I drop them, the ends are straight flat. So that's really nice. It, uh, it took a long time to finally get it that way, but... Um, now we finally got it. And now it doesn't interfere with that silly uh, cut note issue that we had before. Uh, oh, okay. I'm trying to make decent sized piles here so we don't have to back or we don't have to uh, skid little teeny weeny piles. And then we gotta decide what we want to cut to on this one. I'm kind of doing shorts on the other one, right? So, what I might actually do is sell that processor and instead bring a delimmer in here. I might do that in between episodes so that we don't have to uh, don't have to spend the time uh, playing around with that. Bringing it back and forth. And I usually just use the chopper to quickly whip stuff out here now. It's a uh, little faster. But we did make that beautiful road so we should be using the low bed a little bit. Uh, it's kind of like flat-ish up here so I'm just going to lay them right on top of this little hill. And hopefully they stay there. Yeah, that's good. Geez, I forgot how big these trees are. Look how big these things are. It's crazy. This buncher head was not designed for gigantic trees, but it still does it. Whoops. There we go. Uh, let's go back down. I don't think I'll be able to two at once with this guy. Not, not when they're this big. We're going to grab this guy. Oh, man, these trees are big. I didn't even remember making these trees this big. This is crazy. I'm pretty sure Kodiak, um, yeah, Kodiak, Jade, and this map all have the same size trees. And then the new map that we're working on in the other single player uh, episodes, that one has um, the smaller trees, so it's a little easier to cut them, well, at least in bunches and stuff. One thing that's kind of weird is this thing deforms the bottom of trees. Watch this. I don't know if it... Oh, it didn't really do it. Hold on. I'm trying to get it to deform it. I'll probably just cut it up. That's okay. I'll try to show you... Oops. Oh, oops. I'll try to show you as we uh, cut into one. The bottom kind of does this really weird twisty thing. It's kind of really neat. Well, only if you get it locked on it. 
but sometimes it does this weird like twisty thing on the bottom as you can see it kind of makes like a star pattern it's really weird actually you can see it on that one tree in the bottom left there um oh see we just did it kind of how it makes that kind of like weird kind of crisscrossy look it's so strange that's the joys of the new cut node the cut node's actually off of that uh a w i um i don't know who the heck made that i would actually like to know who made the a i think it's called an a w i or a w f e or f i oh god i don't know but basically it's just a mobile cut node and i just took all the old scripts out and replaced them with the tree cutter script that seems to work pretty well uh da, 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 da. so we're just kind of mangling this hill is the plan here so maybe just maybe we'll go down here i don't know what to do with these trees hills are kind of tricky in real life you could probably just drop them and be fine but in this game not so much so let's see if we can lamb into this kind of like half little hill thing here without them rolling away there we go I don't know how many we'll be able to put like that without it. Because eventually they're going to try to roll away on us. I'll tell you that right now. But even if we can get a little bit of an angle, I think we'll be alright. I keep getting these terrible little frame rate drops. I don't know what's happened since before. But I get these like weird little frame rate dropouts. And it's only started happening recently and I don't know what's causing it. I thought it was my mods at first, but then I went and tried like a single player uh, map with none of my stuff, like just in Farming Simulator, and I'm still seeing these little frame rate uh, jitters or whatever they are. I don't, know, you, I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see them in the video or not, but every once in a while I get like a little frame rate drop, little frame rate drop. It's kind of annoying. So I don't know if it's my computer or I. Uh, I even tried updating my graphics drivers, thinking maybe it was some kind of like new update. Now, I don't know if a uh, farming simulator might have done an update. I don't know. Maybe there's some optimization stuff going on. But nothing's really changed as far as anything else, so... I have no clue what it could be. Ghosts. Ghosts in the system, that's probably what it is. Hills are always tricky in this game, let me tell you. So we're going to actually lay this right here next to our pile. Not on our pile, but close to it. And I got a bit of a teeter-totter effect going, which is not really the idea that we want, but... Let's see here. Oop. Badoop. A lot of trekking and walking around and... There we go. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, oop, there we go. I actually noticed um, I was uh, talking with Daggerwin uh, today on YouTube there. I guess he's actually playing on... Uh, I think it's this map, actually. He's playing on this map right uh, right now. It's kind of cool. I didn't know he did uh, logging stuff. I think it's a kind of a new, maybe a new sport for him, but uh, as far as I know, he was just uh, very much a farming kind of folk, but... Yeah, it's it's cool to see, like, the bigger YouTubes, like, you, or YouTubers trying to um, try out the logging stuff now. That tells me that the quality is finally up to par, because everybody used to look at the logging stuff and go, Ew, I'm not touching that with a 40-foot pole. And now, like I said, had the, um, the squad plan with it, and now dagger win. I, th I think it's pretty cool. I'm just glad people are having fun with it. That's kind of the name of the game for me. As long as somebody's having a good time, and the equipment's working properly, that's important to me too. Um, then it's usually all good. I'm gonna try laying it down just straight on this hill and see what happens. Make a little pile here. It's gonna be kind of an interesting skidding zone. I don't know how this is gonna work. I guess that would mean I'd have to go buy a skitter too one day, hey? Uh, let's grab these ones here as well. And I'm going to make another down pile right here. Because this will be a nice bunch. We're going to drop them right here. Boop. 
these ones I can't really see, so we're just gonna kind of blindly go in and hope we get it. That was a lucky one. Oops. Make sure your top is facing up so you don't hit it on other trees. Oh my goodness, how am I still hitting a tree? There we go. Close enough. We'll probably end up using a line skitter of sorts anyway. Well, I think that's all we have is a line skitter now. I've been looking at uh, making a grapple skitter again just for fun. Uh, so we'll see. I got so many projects on the go. I always say that, but I literally do. I have like probably 20 mods on the go right now that are all kind of... Some of them are about 75% finished. Some of them are about, you know, 10% started. And so it's a lot of... Oops. It's a lot of uh, playing around getting it. Getting it all right. Like you guys know about me, I, uh, <clears throat> I'm i all about the functionality, so if something's not functioning, I spend a lot of time on them. I like to spend a good, you know... I mean, if I can get the functionality working fast within a couple hours, I'm a happy man, but most of the time, it's never that fast. I really wish it was, but it, it's never that fast. See if we can just happily drop this one right in there. Oh, it's kind of a weird frozen-ass ugly butt on that one. Okay, uh, that looks good there. I think I'm just gonna keep chopping on this hill. I should really follow the line and see where it ends. I, I can, I think I can see the end way over there. Let's see here, let's throw it in here. I kinda wanna grab a couple more just to make that pile a worthy skid, but we'll see here. There we go. Beauty. Uh oh, I'm getting laggy again. Oh no. Something to do with the uh, snow and laying them. I don't know. We're just going to hammer through on this game and not care because we can do it. We got what it takes to survive. Oh man, we're almost coming up on our time already here. I wonder if it's something to do with just having too many trees down on the snow or something. Like, the snow interacting with it. it seems to be when I knock down, like, uh, too many trees or something. I don't know. I have no idea, honestly. I think once we skid them down the hill, it won't be a problem anymore. I'm hoping. Oops. There we go. Apparently logging in winter just isn't a isn't a thing. Cause I bet you anything if we turned off the um, season snow mod, I bet you that those little lag spikes would go away. But I don't want to because I actually like snow. It's cool. Oh, easy, buddy. Oops. A little snip there just to kind of shave it up. All right, let's see where we are. I'm like all over the place here. So our tree cut line kind of comes. Oh, we followed it right up. We missed a couple down here. Or no, we didn't. Those are the marker lines. So we followed it up. Cut all this. Cut, cut, cut. So we basically cleared out this section. Um. What do we got left on this corner? Not much. I think just this, literally this, oh, not even that. This tree right here. That's the last one. And then we hit the tip of the line here. Ah, oh, it keeps going. This is a big block. So I have to just keep cutting up, cutting up, cutting up. I don't know how far this goes back. Right there it turns. Okay, so that's the end of the block there, and then it comes back. So there's quite a bit of timber in between here and there. But should be fun clearing it all out. So I want to go scoop around. I'm going to grab that tree. And I'm going to get these trees and those trees. And eventually we'll get all the trees. There we go. Okay, so let's go around the pile. And I want to get that one tree on that side. Um, in the next video, I think we're going to have to uh, bring a skitter in here and get this wood down to that block. Because it's starting to cause some glitches. I think the problem is the trees never settle on this ground, or they don't seem to settle. See how they always bounce? So, when I have all the trees laying on the ground and it's not settling, it causes a lot of performance suckage, basically. I don't think it's meant to uh, have that much, so... 
we might have to be uh, more careful with our piling on these ones. Yeah, see how these ones just don't want to settle? It could be because I'm walking around them, but I noticed that in our piles too. The piles that we made on the, the other block there didn't want to settle either, so. How much time we got here? We're pretty close, aren't we? <gasps> We're right on the time. Okay, I'm going to cut these last couple trees here, and then we'll keep moving. I'm just trying to kind of make a line with the edge there. I'm pretty sure that's a marked tree down there, so... Okay, I'm going to grab a couple marks because bunching's fun. And this one I'm going to lay right here. I should actually be laying them the other way because now I just realized I'm laying them into the timber that we want to cut. But we're going to skid all this out. We'll do better on the next one because then I'll have lots of room to actually lay them. If I remember that plan by the time I record my next video. <laughs> Maybe that won't happen. Maybe we'll do something totally different. I don't know. You just never know with me. All right. Beauty. Okay, well, I'm going to stop the video here because we've kind of eaten into our time a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, when we come back on the next one, we're definitely going to get a skitter, come up here, drag some of this wood back to that landing, maybe start processing. I'm going to hit up that delimmer again as well. So, um, yeah, should be fun. Okay, guys, uh, if you like the video, leave a like. If you don't, don't. But uh, either way, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.